Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan McIntosh. I'm the creator of the Buffy vs. Edward remix video. I thought I'd put together a collection of the deleted scenes uh, that didn't quite make the final cut. Uh, so here we go. So this first scene was really just a test at the beginning of the project to see if I could get Buffy and Edward interacting in a convincing way. It serves no narrative purpose and so therefore wasn't in the final version, but um, I did use this sort of clip at the very end where Edward walks away um, as part of the narrative in the final piece. I just need to spend a little more time reacclimating, you know, to get back into the swing of things. Oh. Hey! You can at least say sorry, Bruto! Everybody's in a hurry. Ultimately, I couldn't fit all of the Scoobies, you know, all of Buffy's friends and mentors, into the final piece. Um, it just was too hard to introduce them all, uh, make them make sense to people who hadn't seen Buffy, and then drive the narrative forward. So they, uh, I ended up cutting out Giles and Buffy's mom. But, um... I really loved this little clip where Xander says, you know, I've read the book, I've seen the movie, and I still don't get it. Um, obviously, in this case, referring to the Twilight books. I think it's very clear what's happening here. Fill me in, then, because I've read the book, seen the movie, and I'm still fuzzy about what's going on. A very deadly and seductive demon. He draws people to him with promises of love, power, knowledge. He preys on impressionable minds. There's something about this one that scares me. I need my willow. Don't have to be afraid. This is a really quick clip of Edward continuing his stalking of Buffy, but in the end, it didn't quite fit with the uh, with the story. This next clip is probably the longest of all the deleted scenes. It's meant to show Edward escalating his stalking. Uh, and Buffy's reaction to that. Um, but it does include Giles and Buffy's mom, and since I cut them out of the narrative, it didn't make any sense to include this scene. Um, it also kind of interrupts the flow of, of the final piece, which is sort of very fast-paced and, and all about uh, Buffy and Edward. Mom? I was just checking the back door. Somebody, um, left these for you. How obscene is that? Well, it is very strange. I mean, something about me had to make him feel that, right? Something that made him say, woof, that's the one for me. Does anyone else want to smack that guy? this last little bit is an alternative last line to the very end of the remix uh, where I had Buffy kind of making a pun and being a little bit snarky. When I had it put together, you know, it, it seemed like she was, one, sort of making fun of Edward for not being tough enough, which is not the point of the remix at all, um, and two, kind of plays down how dangerous he is, and I, you know, I think actually he is, his, his character and what it represents is, is actually very dangerous and very serious, and so sort of ending on sort of a pithy little, well, he doesn't mean anything anyway line um, didn't quite fit for what I wanted to do. That's it? That's all I get. I don't think the forces of darkness are even trying. So, check out rebelliouspixels.com for more about my work and more about Remix and Fair Use, and uh, thanks for watching.